it's Sweetie Go, and today I am so excited to play on Guanabana Island. Yesterday was a little bit of a lazy day, which is totally fine. It was really relaxing, but today I'm excited to have a little bit of momentum on Guanabana because I think we'll have a lot of new shops and things to see, and it's really exciting. Oh, and also, okay, thank you so much because I finally learned how to plant flowers, and I really needed to learn how to do that, so thank you, and yeah. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. It's 11.37 a.m. this happy Monday, March 23rd, 2020. Now for today's news. Ta-da! Today, Guanabana has its very own museum. Blathers, the museum curator, says he's always available to accept donations and assess fossils. And museum admission is free, so stop by anytime you like. Also, my staff, Timmy and Tommy, opened up their new shop today. It's a small shop, but they'll change stock daily and carry a selection of goods sure to make to better your island life. Come by from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily, and if the store is closed, simply use their drop-off box to sell your items. Oh, and one more thing. To celebrate the opening of the shop, we've added a new catalog service to Nook Shopping. The catalog lets customers see a record of items they've obtained or purchased. Any mass-marketed items can be ordered directly through the catalog, so make good use of it. Now then, with that said, I hope everyone takes advantage of the new Nook's Cranny. By the way, whenever we cover big island developments like this, we'll hold a special commemorative ceremony afterward. We'd like as many folks as possible to take part, so stop by resident services if you're interested. Definitely. Oh dear, never fails? Of course this would happen right in the middle of a broadcast. Huh? One moment, please. Hello? This is Tom Nook from Nook Inc. Yes? What? The getaway package? Why, yes, 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 of course! And that's all for today's island wide broadcast. Ah, sorry to put you on hold. Allow me to give you a full overview of the. Wait, Tom Nook, I wanna know! <laughs> I wanna know! <gasps> Who is this? I'll be heading to your island every Sunday morning to sell my precious turnips just the way my grandma used to be seeing you, Daisy May. Oh, I'm so excited. Wait. Okay. And Dodo Airlines. Just wanted to say thanks for flying Dodo Airlines. We know you don't have a lot of options, but thanks for choosing us all the same. We hope you enjoy this bit of custom DAL, D -A -L merch. Nifty, right? Your pals at Dodo Airlines. I love Dodo Airlines. Thank you so much, Orville and Wilbur. Let's see. Oh, okay, look. See, I learned. Thank you so much. I went to another island last night, um, and I met another animal that I ended up inviting. I told myself, I was like, no, I have to wait. Like, this animal is really cute, but I have to wait. And then I, I couldn't leave without him. <laughs> so I don't know. But yeah, I also brought back flowers. So I mean, we're kind of even, right? Like, I brought a animal and I also learned something new talk about growth oh I also got this wharf roach which I'm not really excited about but it was on the little rocks on the beach which I thought was really cool this is my this is me showing you that I caught it but maybe one day I can show you on Guanabana because they uh, it, it was kind of cool I don't like it but it's kind of cool <laughs> I also just want to see this present from the dodos oh it's a tea okay oh it's so cute Okay, wait, I kind of want to wear the tee. Just for today. It'll be fun. It looks so cute. Oh, actually, wait. I think Tom Nook said we have to go. Oh, he's still on the phone. Yes, of course. Don't worry about a thing. We can set up your getaway package to include a lovely furnished home. Mm-hmm. Oh, not at all. We'll set up your move-in date at a later time. No, no, no trouble at all. I just need to draw up the proper contracts. Understood. We will get back to you very soon. Thank you. Is this? Nicole, sorry to keep you waiting. I suppose you overheard that call I just got? No. <laughs> For some time now, I've been advertising the Guanabana getaway package. And wouldn't you know, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. That's great. Yes, yes, it's quite wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Uh, wonderful except for one minor little detail. What's wrong? None of our applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see. I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here, and I may have promised them fully furnished homes. Three homes, setting aside the land, preparing all the furnishings. It's just much, it's too, just too much for one raccoon. What about me? Yeah? Uh-huh. <laughs> but Nicole, 
Oh my god, wait, he looks really cute right now. Oh, Tom. Here you are in my hour of need. It's most certainly must be fate. <laughs> Would you help me get these homes prepared, all three of them? Of course, I will have to give you a good and proper thank you for your assistance. Of course, I'll help. Thank you, thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Oh, you're gonna need some top secret instructions. When you're ready, come talk to me. Use the phrase, what should I do? Agent Nookout. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> it is fun. Let's ask him now. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? Oh, so you're already ready to help me prepare? Here's what I'm thinking. We really need to start by building a bridge across a river somewhere. With three homes to build, I worry that we'll run out of space on land that is easily accessible. A bridge will open things up a bit and make it easier to get the housing plots during uh, construction. So that's why I'd like you to start by crafting the parts for a river base. Get your DIY skills ready. And then you'll want to decide on a prime location for the bridge too. Ooh. Where's my... Wait, I didn't have my phone ready. And done. I've just sent you a recipe for a bridge construction kit. You can find it on your Nook phone. Once you've assembled your bridge construction kit, find a good spot for a bridge and then check in with me. It can be a little tricky to place a bridge, so we can talk if you have trouble or need some advice. Good luck, Nicole. Thank you. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna be using resident services as the center of our island. I mean, I don't know if it's immediately in the center. I don't think it's exactly. Oh, it is. Wow, how did we get so lucky? I didn't even realize. Um, but I'm thinking that when people visit Guanabana, they're gonna to wanna to visit resident services, and then from there, they can explore. So I'm thinking that the easiest place to put a bridge will be either to the left or right, those like, two southern estuaries that I really wanted I have a bridge on one of those. This is pretty central and then they just go straight. Oops, there's a tree here. And like that. I don't know if we can put the bridge. Oh, <laughs> wait. I don't know if we can put it right here, but we can try and see first just for fun. What am I doing wrong? Oh, I need to construct it first. I'm pretty sure, don't I? Mm. Well, let's look at the, okay, here. So we need log stakes, which I haven't constructed either. Oh, we can make these easily. So the, how many of these do we need? We need four of them and then we have everything else. So actually let me go back <laughs> and craft the log stakes so that then we can have the bridge ready. Should I craft something? Let's craft. I need this. Oops, okay, wait, my pockets are full. Okay, look, look. Look what I can do. I learned, I learned how to plant flowers. Oh, they're so pretty. I really like these orange wind flowers. I think they're so pretty. I'm gonna put another one. I'll put one here. Oh, I don't even have to use the shovel. Ta-da, wow, I'm so good, I'm so smart. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, Sylvia, you got a house. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Let me give you a flower. Ta-da, thank you. Oh, let's visit Sylvia. Her house is so cute. Sylvia. Morning, Sunbeam. Uh, you here to make sure I start my day off right? What's the latest? Oh, hey, big news. I've officially moved from on to the tent life. I got a house, boy. I mean, tents are cool and all, but I can fit way more stuff in a house. Plus, now it feels like I officially live here instead of just roughing it. Sylvia, congratulations. Oh, need something? Uh, I do a ton of gardening, so I know which outdoor stuff is worth it, like the sleeping bag. And yeah, my place looks kind of weird with outdoor stuff indoors, but trust me, it's awesome. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Sylvia. You and your little baby. What's your baby's name? I still don't know. <laughs> Bye. Wait, I wanna see if Cody has a house then. Okay, wait, let's go check on him. And then we'll go build a bridge. And then we'll go see the museum. We have so much stuff to do today, it's so exciting. Let's see, oh my gosh, Cody's house is so cute. Oh, and we have Nook Cranny. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for today. Let's go see Cody's house. I actually love it, it's so cute. That color is so pretty. Hey, 
Cody, welcome to my top secret hideout. I want to chat. Guess what? I finally own something that even I have trouble lifting. Yep, I have a house now. It's got walls, a floor, even a ceiling. I can finally do jumping jacks without ripping a hole in my home. Hey, you like in my wood table? If I'm not working out, sometimes I'll sit here and read. It uh doesn't get used much. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Cody, this is such a cute crafting table. Wow, you're really curious about my stuff in my house, huh? But you aren't going to discover any secrets by becoming a, to becoming a world-class athlete just by staring at my stuff. But I was just curious. Okay, bye, Cody. So now we have two log stakes, and I think we need four, so we just need to make two more. Um, and then we'll have everything for the bridge. I made some log stakes! Yes, all done for now. Oh no, I, wait, I need to make the bridge. We need log stakes, clay, and stone. I made a bridge construction kit! All done. Okay, so, like I was saying, this will be our central point for Guanabana Island, and I think the first bridge I want to build will be on this side. So I'll just go in a little bee line, a little honey bee line, and see if we can construct the bridge here because this will be like a nice, easy place to put it. To place a bridge, you need the river to be just the right width and the land on either side should be even. Oh, let's build it here. Should I reserve this spot? This is the spot. Yay! I picked a spot for a bridge. Let the land connect. Cute. Okay, let's go back to Tom Nook. Ah, Nicole, hello, hello. So, did you find a good place to deploy your bridge construction kit? It's ready to go. Splendid, excellent work, thank you. Then tomorrow we'll have a new bridge uh, we'll have a new bridge up and it'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it started it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for bridge construction to finish if you want, or just ask me what should I do? I I really well how about we uh, do the ceremonies that he mentioned for the shop and for the museum first and then we can go back to working on the houses because I really want to see Blathers again today too. Uh, let's hold a ceremony. Oh, you want to take part in a ceremony, Nicole? We're celebrating so many different things right now. Truly a wonderful island moment. What, ce uh, what ceremony do you want to take part in? Um, let's start with Nook's Cranny. Splendid. Let's get started. Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Guanabana's brand new Nook's Cranny. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Guanabana truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here, but now it's slowly becoming to develop. It's slow sorry, it's slowly beginning to it's wait. It's slowly beginning to develop, thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone really. I'd like to ask Timmy and Tommy to say a few words as representatives of the new t Nook's Cranny. Timmy, Tommy, if you would please. Thank you, Guanabana. Because of you, we've opened a proper shop. My brother and I will work hard to make it the best shop. I hope you can count on your count. We can count on your business. Oh, they're so cute. Yes, yes, thank you both. Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions towards seeing Nook's Cranny built. Of course, I mean Nicole, our resident representative. Anything to add? Um, woo! <laughs> yes, yes indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Nicole. No problem. <laughs> Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press the square circle button. <laughs> yes, well then. With hope to our continued growth and uh, with hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Guanabana's beautiful nooks cranny. Hooray! <laughs> so cute. Oh. 
Thanks all. Uh, thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Oh. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay, let's do it again for the museum. <laughs> Hi, Blathers. Now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Guanabana's brand new museum. <laughs> Thank you. Guanabana truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here, but now it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone really. This is the same thing. <laughs> now, oh, okay. Now I think we need to hear a few words from, a few words from Blathers who will be running our new museum. Blathers, the floor is yours. Residents of Guanabana, once again, I am Blathers, your humble museum curator. I am overwhelmed, indeed overjoyed, by the marvelous establishment we are opening here today. <laughs> this could not have been done without you and your considerable contribution or cooperation. I only hope this island's rich ecosystem and tre tre treasure trove of species continues to inspire all. This is exactly why I love Blathers. This right here. <laughs> This is the best thing he's ever said. It surely strengthened my own resolve to build a museum brimming with wonder. I say, I do hope you will all continue to support the museum's efforts growing forward. Going forward. <laughs> Thank you for that rousing speech, Blathers. Now to have a few words from someone who contrib whose contributions made the museum possible. I'm talking about Nicole, our island representative. Anything to add? Uh... We're amazing! <laughs> yes, yes indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Nicole. Sentiments, Nicole. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should be ready to press the square circle button. Okay. Well then. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Guanabana's beautiful museum. Hooray! <laughs> So cute, and what a beautiful day. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Okay, so we need to visit the shop and the museum, and then we need to talk to Tom Nook again about the houses for our upcoming Islanders, which I'm really excited about. I don't think I told you about the third animal, but you know what? You will meet him soon. So, any hoot, any hoot hoot, any hoot, let's go to the museum. Wow. I, I think we saw this in the Animal Crossing Direct, but like seeing it, like I'm here. Wow. <laughs> Should we wake him up? Who? Who? <laughs> Who? I beg your pardon. I'm a bit of a night owl, don't you know? Drowsy in the daytime. Ah, but more importantly, hoo hoo if it isn't Nicole. At long last, the Guanabana Museum has opened, this very day no less. An impressive feat of engineering, craftsmanship, and good old island ingenuity, is it not? Of course it was your very own donations that made it possible, so to you I say thank you. Now allow, now allow me to give you a quick overview of our fine institution's floor plan. You'll find that the entrances to the left and to the right You'll find that there are uh, entrances to the left, to the right, and into the basement. Each one leads to an exhibit room where in the donations collected thus far have been put on display. To be sure we have met, to, uh, to be sure we may have gone ahead of ourselves with the fossil exhibit. Alas, no fossils have been found as of yet, though I remain ever confident. Anywho, I once again welcome you to the Guanabana Museum. Please pursue at your pleasure. Blathers, I have things to donate. Please let me know you have donate or you need assist assistance. I'm here to help. Who? Make a donation. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Can I donate? Ah, okay. <laughs> Oh no, I'm obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this? Yes, I, of course. I see, in that case. Snails are not insects, I'll admit, but they are just as, but they're just as revolting to me. Snails aren't insects? I didn't know that. Snails are, oh, okay, wait, I didn't know that. <laughs> Snails are mollusks, and they're born wearing shells they cannot remove. Instead, their shells get bigger and bigger as they grow. Ooh, they must get heavy, don't you know? I suppose that's why they need it. <laughs> leave a trail of mucus to move around. A truly foul form way of transportation. <laughs> oh. 
Hmm. Rest assured, the wretched thing will be, uh, will get the best of care here. Uh, is there anything else? Yes. I have three more things, Blathers. You'll be very excited to know that actually I don't know if you'll be that excited. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I feel the same way actually about the wharf roach. The wharf roach, the, uh, whoa, the wharf roach is an omnivore, which is merely a polite way of saying it will eat almost anything. The skittering scavenger and its uncouth appetite help keep ba uh, beaches clean, it said. But I dare say their long antenna and bulging eyes turn my stomach, unappetizing indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Ladybugs are quite beloved thanks to their tiny round shape and adorable spots. To that I say bah. <laughs> the fact of the matter is some have stripes instead of spots and some have no markings at all. Some have stripes? No, I shall never understand why it is said that when a ladybug lands on you, you'll have good luck. I shall only have a fainting spell. Any hoot. Hoo hoo, woo hoo. This is undoubtedly a football fish. Any hoot, might I interest you in some fascinating facts? Yes, please tell me. Wonderful. I would love nothing more. The football fish is a strange and grotesque deep sea fish with a lantern like light with a lantern like light on its forehead. Its light is apparently powered by luminous bacteria and other glowing microorganisms. One theory says it can spray these luminescent sidekicks when prey approaches in order to dazzle them. The deep contains many mysteries, as well as some things that are just too odd and off-putting. Wow, that was really interesting. I enjoyed that fact. Thank you, Blathers. <laughs> okay, so I have plenty of other uh, species to donate to Blathers, but I think from today, I will just slowly donate maybe one a bug or one fish a day so that we can learn more from blathers but also so that we can really savor the experience of donating everything to the museum i do have a lot of fossils uh but i think i left them at my home so we have so many things to do that i don't think we'll have time today for me to grab any but definitely starting tomorrow uh we can start donating everything i'm really excited this is one of my favorite i mean fishing and catching bugs and donating to the museum definitely my favorite activities of animal crossing okay so we are here in the wow <laughs> we are here in the bug exhibit it is so pretty can i wow it's so big look how pretty wait what is over here it continues this is the room oh it's so pretty wow look at all of them oh that's so nice instead of even though we just donated one butterfly they oh look at the snail so cute hey wow it's so pretty i have to i have to sit here oh my gosh it's so beautiful oh hey it's so pretty <laughs> wow oh my gosh i love it oh look at the ladybug hey so cute so so cute what's back here oh oh look the moth is this a moth let's see moth donated march 21st wow anything else here wow it's so big wait what what is here ah <gasps> uh, the wharf roach <sighs> yeah oh the hermit crab i didn't even see it <laughs> So cute. I would be the hermit crab. I'd be like, please don't look at me, wharf roach. You're kind of scary. <laughs> what is here? Is there anything? We humbly ask for your donations to add to our displays. Okay. And here. Wow. Oh, what is that? Is that the, the paper kite butterfly? Wow. What is this? What's back here? Hey, look, it's Nat. Huh, interesting. Wow, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to donate. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How is it so beautiful? The museum has never looked more beautiful. Wow. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. oh look, there's even more. Oh my goodness. Look at the honeybee. Hey! 
What's up here? Big tree. Oh, there's like a little, you can sit here. That is so cute. Amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Look, look, I, look, look at this thing that I caught. I caught this the first night, or no, maybe not. Let's see when I actually donated it. March 21st. Okay, so not the first night, but look at this. It is so beautiful. When I saw it, I was like, <gasps> but I really like it. I like how even the, there's a current for the fish. They're all swimming against the current. It's like a natural little ecosystem for them. This is the best museum ever. I wish this was a real museum. I want this museum. I want to move to Guadalajara Island. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Hi, oh, the camera fell. Hi, Bitterling. You're so cute. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. How is this real? What is this? That's a big tank. What's gonna go in here? Wait, wait I don't think we have anything. Oh my gosh. How is it so amazing? What's over here? <laughs> it's so impressive and then we just have like a cute little horse mackerel like, <laughs> hey! <laughs> Let's go see. Okay, wait, it looks like we can go back here also. Hi! <laughs> you look cute! <laughs> wow, there's even a little seating here. What is this? What? Wait, there's more? Oh, hi football fish. Some countries call you the soccer fish. Wow, what is this? What is this? What? Wow. Even, even empty, it's so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to catch all the, whoa, what? <laughs> what? I can't wait to catch everything. Ah, hey, there's something here. A red snapper. What? What? Wait. <gasps> hey. It like makes me want to cry. It's so beautiful. Okay, and then I know I haven't donated any fossils, but I have to see. What is this? Wow. Wow. What a pretty entrance. Wow. can't wait okay I have to donate I may donate some fossils tonight just so that tomorrow we can see wow what is that oh not a good time for the dinosaurs I'm sorry <laughs> what is this oh my goodness I'm so excited to donate Wow. Okay, oh, sorry. I think I have to go this way. What is this? What? There's no squirrel? Where? I want a squirrel. Where are the squirrels? The squirrels are my favorite. I mean, obviously there's something that I don't understand, but like... Is this for me? <laughs> Is this one for me? <laughs> so cool. I love even this little detail. Like they didn't need to put that, but it feels so real that they have it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so absolutely the prettiest, 
the prettiest place in Guanabana is this museum. I cannot, I cannot believe it. I'm so happy with this. Blathers, you are such a lucky owl. I'm so happy. Let's go see the shop too. We have to go see Timmy and Tommy. Is this a fossil? Tell me it's a fossil. Oh, that's not. A Was that glowing? Was that a glowing spot? And I just didn't notice? That was super random. What? I was worried when I heard you were all moving to deserted island, but this is much nicer than I imagined. It's so nice, so nice. <laughs> Even though we haven't been here out all that long. In just a short time, Blathers has moved in and we were able to open up this shop. Experiencing new things every day has been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> I'm so pleased to hear that. Actually, I came here today to check in on all of you and see if you need any assistance with anything. It's our way of celebrating your new shop. You know, we sisters like to help wherever we can. Any island ideas come to mind? You're too kind, Mabel. We're just overwhelmed that you even thought to come visit us. Oh, hey, I think something come to mind? Well, we still have some logistical challenges to overcome. We depend on mail orders for a lot of our goods. Having this shop should make it a bit easier for us to obtain ready-made furniture and things like that and stuff like that. Timmy is such a business raccoon. What a little entrepreneur. We still need a clothing supplier. Aha! Uh -huh. Something tells me that today is your lucky day. As it turns out, it's not really that difficult for us to get to this island. How about if I stop by every so often to sell some of our wares to your wonderful island dwellers? Oh wonder- oh wow, do you really mean that? Our residents will be so overjoyed, so overjoyed! <laughs> Of course, silly. If we can sell our goods here, it's a win-win situation for everyone. I suppose with that settled, I should head home and work on the details, work out the details of my sister. Yes, please do that. Do that. <laughs> we can help. We can. We can't wait to see you here again. Hi. Okay, Timmy is such an entrepreneur. He is like, yeah, you can help us with this. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks for your help. We've opened up this amazing shop. Our shop is named in honor of our beloved president Nook used to run. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. As you can see, we're offering ready-made furniture and items that can't be easily made into DIY products. Timmy is such an entrepreneur. I love him. <laughs> also in the back ca ca cabinet with the tools and other miscellaneous goods, we have wallpaper and flooring. We hope to fulfill all your shopping needs. Shopping needs. Cute. So now we can check this every day too. <gasps> I love you too. Both of you are so cute. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> wow, so we have the museum, we have Nook's Cranny, Cody and Sylvia have their own homes now, and we're also gonna be able to start, ooh, I guess we can start, we can do that. We can go talk to Tom, we can go, we can go talk to Tom Nook one more time to get the, uh, I guess to start preparing for our new Islanders. I'm so excited. Um, maybe we can't finish that today, but we can definitely, I'll definitely save that for tomorrow so that we can really start crafting Guanabana together. Actually, let's see, do I have space? Okay, I have plenty of space. Let's go talk. Hi, Sylvia. What am I doing? I'm going to see Tom. <laughs> I want to explore the island. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go see Tom. No, we're not. Yes, we are. <laughs> Hello, Tom. Tom Nook. President Tom Nook. Uh, what would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? Nicole, the bridge won't be ready until tomorrow, but do you want to start on the homes now? Please take these three housing kits. Yes. Thank you. With the housing kits I just gave you, you'll pick out plots for three homes. Then, of course, these homes will need furniture and such. Each housing kit comes with a list of furniture required for its house, so be sure to read those lists. You can build everything DIY style, so let me just send you the recipes you'll need. Ooh, so many recipes today. Uh, 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 what am I saying? I think that's all from me. Thanks for all your help. Oh, actually, let me look at the new recipes. Wow, we have so much we can craft now. I want a bed. Oh, what is that? 
What are you? A cherry lamp and a cherry and cherry speakers? I want some. They're so cute. Should tomorrow be a crafting day? Oh, that will be so much fun. So how so so do I set the plots then? And then we do the crafting tomorrow? Or do I save the plots for tomorrow so I can think about it? Ooh. I might do that because I actually like I genuinely don't know what I want to do with plotting. Ooh, oh, also, really random. I just remembered this at the very end, but all of you said that it was okay if I learned the ladder recipe a little early. So, uh, let's do that really quick. <laughs> and uh, I already know it. How? When did I learn it? I learned this? Oh, well that's sad. <laughs> Thanks for saying yes anyway. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. That's so funny. So how about tomorrow we make it an entirely crafting day? Today, I am going to think about where I'm gonna put all the plots and then tomorrow, we'll gather all the materials and we'll craft everything so that the next day, we'll have all our new islanders. Oh, that'll be really exciting. But yeah, thank you so much for playing with me on Guanabana Island. If you enjoyed, you're more than welcome to subscribe. And yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you when I see ya. <laughs>